Well, if you've got one of these, or one of these, iPhone, iPad, then we'll have some interesting tips for you in 30 seconds. Hi, Katie. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. You've disappeared. Welcome back to Digits here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable. We're well, looking at footage of a tip that you might want to learn about the iPad. I'm going to tell you all about that. And we've got the one and only Special K herself, Katie Barrett, joining us now from Washington, D.C. Thanks for being there. You've been, you've been getting all the tips out for the iPad. I've got one here and the, I, the, I, the iPhone. We were looking at footage of a, how to split a keyboard. That's, I mean, I didn't know you could. I didn't know you'd want to. Tell, tell us why you'd want to first. Yeah, well, why you'd want to is if you ever hold your iPad in landscape view and with two hands, which a lot of people do, uh, they can use their thumbs to type. And this is kind of a steadier way of typing. If you used to have a BlackBerry and you're good at thumb typing, this will be a comfortable uh, position for you to be typing in. And I think it's a lot easier to use than the big floating keyboard that appears at the bottom, which is just awkward and you have to kind of hunt and peck using that. So um, you can, this is on by default on the iPad 2 and the newest iPad and you can turn it on in the original iPad but it's it's there, it works. You just have to pull apart the keyboard using your thumbs. And, and that's, it, that's it, that's all I have to do. Even my fat thumbs, I just put on there and I pull it apart. That's it. Yep, that's okay. right. <laughs> okay, so there's on the iPhone, which I, I got the iPhone here, there's a, it says you can use the volume button as a shutter. Right. This is a tip that some people know, but a lot of people don't. Uh, you can just use the volume up button as uh, the shutter button for taking photos. So this is helpful if you have to take a picture of yourself holding you know, a, a new shirt that you want someone to see, or uh, you hand your phone to someone else and they take a picture for you. You can just say, just press that button. You don't have to learn how my phone works. Just press that button. So it's a really convenient tip. So what about the next one, the tapping the status bar to scroll up? Right. This is the bar. Most people don't even know it's there. It has the time and your battery life that's remaining in the very top of the iPhone or iPad screen. And you just tap this once to immediately scroll to the top of that screen. So if you're in a web page that you scroll to the bottom of, or if you're reading a long email and you need to jump back up to the top of the page, just tap once on that status bar and you will immediately go up. Well, there is another way around that, of course, is just insist that your friends don't send you long emails. Uh, <laughs> that works too, yeah. That, 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 would be, that, that, that would be the route I'd like to take. So how, then there's a, how to take a screenshot. How do you do that? Yeah, this is helpful for people like me who review products and have to complain about them to the tech companies. We can take screenshots of exactly what went wrong. So uh, that's helpful there, but other people might wanna take an image of something, whatever it is on their screen. So you hold the home button and the on off switch on the top of the uh, iPad and you can immediately take a screenshot. It works on the iPhone as well. So that picture will be sent over to your camera roll and you can email it from there. Okay, we have to we have to leave it there. This is all great stuff. Things you didn't know, you didn't know. Katie Barrett, Special <laughs> K herself. You can read more on that and lots of others other tips you need to know on WSJ.com in Katie's story.